All right, guys. So I'm here today. Uh, we're doing a Mad Max post-apocalyptic style uh, shoot. Uh, I got a model carry with me. There's going to be some more showing up. But while we're waiting, what I thought we'd do is I have the Rokinon or Sam Yang 35 millimeter 1.4 lens. They just put out a new version 4 firmware. So if you haven't got it, go grab it. But I want to show you a little uh, autofocus test in both video and photo to show you how it tracks. Uh, it's a native lens to Sony. If you haven't checked it out, it's about three times cheaper than the Sony lens. And uh, Carrie here is going to do a little modeling for us. Okay guys, so in today's video, uh, I took you a little behind the scenes of our Mad Max post-apocalyptic photo shoot. Uh, I was using the Rokinon 35mm 1.4. Uh, it's also known as a Sam Yang, depending on where you buy it, same thing. I think even newer or newer or whatever the heck they're called uh, makes a version of it. But uh, my initial impressions of the lens are, I love it. It might be my new favorite lens. It's wide enough that you can get the background but it's got a low enough aperture and still telephoto enough that you can get that good separation between your subject and your background. Uh, it is a heavy lens, weighing it at almost a pound and a half. I think it was like 1.4 pounds. Um, personally, I don't care. A lot of these people are like, oh, I want the small lightweight lens to carry around, you know, so I'll settle for a 2.8 or whatever. Uh, me, personally, I don't give a crap. I'll lug around 50 pounds of gear. I'm more concerned with the results. And uh, this did really well. I originally planned for this video to be a lot more in-depth, but unfortunately the guy that was supposed to show up, a buddy of mine, to do some video, got another good paying gig, and you know, when you gotta make money, or doing something for free, I understand, you gotta put food on the table. So he couldn't make it. Uh, so that left me trying to do a little bit of video uh, while doing the photo, while directing everything. So uh, I didn't get as much as I wanted. But I did get to do the autofocus test. You can see in the beginning where it's tracking her eye and it locks on and follows her pretty good. Uh, it might be a little slower than some of the native Sony lenses. Um, not much. If anything, I'd say you're talking milliseconds of difference. Uh, I didn't find it really struggling any time uh, to pick up focus or to stay locked on. Most of my shots were in focus. Uh, overall though, I mean, very good lens, especially for the money. It's like three times cheaper than the Sony version. This was running the version 4 firmware, uh, shooting on an a7 III. Uh, they say in the latest firmware releases that it fixes uh, improved autofocus ability for the a7 III. So if you have an older a7 II or a6000, something of that generation, uh, it may not be as good. But if you're running an a7 III or newer, uh, you should be looking at just right on par with native Sony lenses. And uh, I'll leave links to everybody's information down below if you want to check out the models. There's a ton more shots from this, not only using this, but uh, we use a Tamron 28-75, to 
Uh, we used uh, the 8518. Uh, there's several other lenses in there, but there's a bunch of shots, so make sure you stop by Instagram and check them out. And if you guys have any questions, let me know.